Hello everybody, this is Josh Placer from GameWisdom.com and this is a video I'm not too happy to be making. For those of you who haven't heard, Pay2 finally, uh, after months, uh, revealed what was in the completely overkill safe. That was that lovely little thing you saw over here in my previous videos. And when it was originally announced, it was supposed to be a way for uh, veterans and people who love pay to to show their support and get something cool in return that Overkill wasn't announcing at that time. Well, following the microtransaction event um, that pissed people off, and now with the completely Overkill uh, announcement, that's pissed even more people off, including myself. Because it seems like instead of getting something really cool, something special, what I got was a lovely safe. And these are my other safes that I have picked up. No drills, obviously, because it's only like a 25% chance once a week. And these are from the achievements that I got. Uh, the um, Golden Ticket and the Slaughterhouse. But you can see I have these lovely safes that I can't use without spending money. And we got this. So I can actually open the safe. And I wanted to do it on video here because I'm... As I said, I'm just very disgusted with how this has turned out. So let's see what we get. Let's see what three, what was it? It's been like four or five months, right? It was, no, wait. This was like the hype train, which was at least six, seven months, right? I don't even remember. It's been so long ago since I bought it. But let's see just exactly what we got. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. So fancy, right? Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Here we go, folks. This is a few months of uh, anticipation ending right now. Let's do it. And, oh, 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 of course. I didn't even get the epic one. Oh, good. I got an item that I don't even use. Yay, the flamethrower. That's, that's great. And what's, what's what's really good about that, by the way? Wait, this has modifications included, so what makes this... Okay, so it makes it... It has 150 more ammo and lowers the damage by 3. Okay, but what's really great about this is the fact that you need the um, barbecue DLC to even use this item, which they just so happen to give everyone for free who bought the completely overkill pack. So, instead of giving us something that we wanted or giving us a choice, like, I saw some things on there that, okay, I would like, I would like the um, skin for, like, the M308, the sniper rifle, the... Bronco, but no, I don't even get a choice for that. I just had to, I basically just gambled twenty dollars and got literally nothing that I can use. Let's see, I could sell it. Can I even sell it? There's the question. I believe I can sell it, but. It says it's tradable. Oh, good. Starting at at ten dollars, according to mine. That that's great. So I could sell it for ten, and then buy four safes on no, the three and a half safes, <laughs> uh, three and a half drills. But the problem is that this is just a horrible way of rewarding. Everyone who's been supporting Overkill, including someone like me, because basically I got nothing. I got worse than nothing. I got something that, that if I want to actually make use of, it's going to affect how I play the game. At least with these, I can use these regularly. Can't really do anything with this. That doesn't even have any stats. But there we go. That was like all those months of waiting. And what really annoys me is the fact that if this was their original plan, this means that they have been doing the whole microtransaction idea for months. 
this wasn't just a spur of the moment, we'll just turn it on like a month before. They didn't think about this like a month before Crime Fest. They've been thinking about this for five, six months, didn't tell anyone. And that is a horrible way to do PR and uh, building this community that they've been so admin about. And I don't know, but this just really sours me. This is the this may be the straw that breaks my back. I don't know if I'm going to buy any more DLC. And speaking about DLC, because we know they're going to be working on more DLC content, right? That goes without saying. Why couldn't the completely overkill pack give me like the next five or six DLCs for free, or even two or three? Something to say that hey, I can get more value from this and stuff that I've already bought. And now I have a skin that I don't even really want because I don't use the flamethrower. So, again, I could sell the skin, get possibly $10, and then, you know, buy use that to buy drills and maybe get skins items that I don't want. So I'll be even more in the hole. But, yeah, just very quick video about this. I am... I know you can't hear in my voice, I'm a little dizzy at the moment. Not from this, just from allergies, so I can't verbally get upset. But, yeah, this is just bullshit. And it's going to take one hell of a um, plan B for them to, walk o to come back from this one, because... I don't see myself buying anything more from Overkill, Payday 2, or The Walking Dead game after after this. I mean, if this is how they treat their fans, especially the ones who wanted to keep them going, this isn't just a slap in the face. This is a stab in the back. So, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Um, maybe if by some chance I get more drills, maybe by some miracle... Maybe I'll do another video so you can wallow in my misery too, but that's going to do it for this. I hope uh, you enjoyed my little vent here. My guy is facing backwards and a sign of frustration there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos on the YouTube channel. And um, I'll be hopefully back with something a little bit more uh, joyous real soon. Take care.